everyone, Abdul Warrior coming at you with a straight to the point helpful video about how to increase your home base power and save the world. Your home base power is basically a composition about of your four attributes, your fortitude, your offense, resistance and tech. Things like adding defender squads, they don't affect your home base power whatsoever. The weapons you use, they don't affect your home base power whatsoever. What you need to do to increase your home base power is on, it's only affected by two main things your survival squads and your skills your skill tree you can get sk skill tree and research trees you can get um, these those four attributes by um, unlocking nodes in your skill trees like these you can also get them on your, in your research tree so always make sure to collect your research points because like there's a lot and I mean a lot of points of um, attributes you can unlock with, with your research and skill tree now to get to the survival squads in your survival squad you would want to get um, survivors make sure you have lead survivors you need survivors sorry I'm repeating survivors so much you need survivors of the same um, personality and a lead survivor this is very important as it boosts your what you get from the survivor squads by a lot you need the leader match like this like doctor you can see i try to get the leader match for all of my survivors i just don't have it for one or two when you get the leader match it boosts the amount of points you get from your survivor squads by a lot and increases your home base power now you want to get survivors of the same quality like okay okay look at this difference it might not be much but when you get to higher level survivors and higher um, evolutionary phases it matters so much this is a survivor the one that is highlighted it's a survivor of the of the same personality as the um, lead survivor and this is a survivor that is not of the same personality and you can see that they are they are both purple and level one see 10 points when when i switch let me see how much that reduces it by it's not much but it's all adds up as a point when they're all very highly highly evolved all right team bonus so that's basically it your survival squads and your skill tree your research tree oh yes if I look at my survivors, most of them are orange and purple. If you're having trouble finding survivors, you're going to want to. S I know that buying things in battle royale, like the rocket radio, rodeo, the Highland warrior, things like that, they're very, very tempting. But if you want to enjoy save the world, you need survivors. You can get survivors from purchasing the two that come out in the weekly items in your loot event store and you can and the legendary one that comes only once in the event or in case epic games try adds another one just keep your eyes peeled and you can also get them from the super people llama like for me that's where i got my mythic legendary doctor and the troll legendary loot truck and the troll legendary loot stash those are the best llamas i would say for getting um, purple, I mean epic, legendary, or mythic survivors. There are some people saying that you could get good stuff from upgrade llamas, but just to be on the safe side, I'll tell you to save up your V box for the super people llama. Wait, is it super people or super survivor? I don't know, I'm not sure right now, but the super llama that has the survivors. The troll legendary loot truck llama and the troll legendary loot stash llama. I hope this video helps you out in upgrading your storm power level. I hope, um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and if you want me to upload more helpful content like this, please say so in the comments. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh yes. Also, if I missed any way that you can increase your home base power please let me know in the comments i hope you have a good day peace